everybody, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and this is Richie's Rapid 10 Minute Taster for Partisans 1941. Um, currently available on Steam for around the £20 mark. I think it's about 23 quid at the minute. So, um, it's a game I've been wanting to get um, onto for a while now. It's been in the to playlist, and I thought, what better time? Uh, than now to do a 10 minute taster to let you take a look at it see if it's a game that you'd want to buy so right let's uh, crack on so let's start a new game I literally played about 10 minutes just to get a quick feel for it but I wanted to uh, come in from the start again with yourselves um, we're gonna start on easy as it's the recommended difficulty for the first playthrough which is all good um, Let's go with that. At 4 a.m. on June the 22nd, 1941, the armed forces of Germany launched a surprise attack against the Soviet Union. The great patriotic war of the Soviet people against the fascist invaders began. In the first several months, the Soviet forces suffered devastating losses, fighting against a battle-hardened and ruthless enemy. The Red Army was forced to retreat. The invaders stormed their way forward, raising Soviet cities to the ground and burning down villages along the way. Minsk, Smolensk and Novgorod fell. The German Air Force bombed Kiev and Sevastopol, threat loomed over Moscow and Leningrad. Thousands of Soviet soldiers were surrounded, trapped in salience. One of them was a commanding officer of a rifle company, Captain Zorin. During an attempt to break out of the encirclement, he was taken prisoner and shipped to the nearest Dulag. He was supposed to be transferred from the prisoner of war camp to an internment camp. Fully aware that this would be a one-way ticket for him and his comrades, Zorin began work on a breakout. But the Germans discovered his plans. Okay, so here we go. Nice bit of background. Maybe a story that isn't told so much in history classes. I'm not sure whether it gets the airtime um, nowadays. I'm, I'm not sure of the curriculum, but um, yeah. This is going to be interesting. Anyway, press any key, right? Sind Sie es? Warum sind Sie so seltsam angezogen? Es hat etwas gedauert, bis wir diese zwei im Wald geschnappt haben, Herr Kommandant. Hauptmann Sorin. Captain Sorin. I've been informed. Uh, that you put the prisoners up to a riot. What are you trying to do? Your war is over. Soon it will be over for the Red Army too. I wouldn't be so sure. We'll be chasing you all the way back to Berlin before long. Very English sound in Russian. Our victory is all but certain. Neither Moscow nor Leningrad can hold out for more than two weeks. Also, where are the dog leads? <laughs> They're just imaginary. We, Aryans, are born to rule the likes of you. All humans are born equal. But you, Hitler's filth, you are human. Was für ein Schwachsinn. Bring ihn nach draußen zur Exekution. Oh, here we go. I'm in trouble now. Go ahead, you bastard. Shoot. There's 170 million of us. You can't shoot everyone. Have some of that. The alarm. The sergeant must have started the riot. I wish I were with them. Now I'll have to escape on my own. I can't even hold a rifle. My hands are tied. I'll try and sneak along the fence while the guards are looking. Yes, sneaky sneakerson. 
Okay, so what we got down here? We've got weapon reloading. Right mouse button. Okay, so to walk, we kind of point and click the left mouse button. Use left mouse button to move your partisan or select an action. Click right mouse button to cancel a move or an action. Simple stuff. Using the camera, use WASD to move the camera. You can rotate your camera with Q and D buttons. Use your mouse wheel to change the camera distance. Okay, so it goes out a bit, goes in a bit. Not massive differences between the two. I like the out version. Um, right, so I've got it so as I can move the camera with my mouse, which I prefer. So that's how I've got it set up at the minute. Sneaky sneak. Stealth mode. Your character starts using stealth movement if you're close to an enemy. Okay, away we go again. Oh, hello. So some nice vision cones from the enemy. He's guarding the back of a train. Right, let's uh, sneaky sneak up here. Enemy cone. Every enemy in the game has a cone of vision. Move your cursor to an enemy and press right mouse button to see it. Keep out of the cone and don't be caught. Okay, so, cone. When does he turn the other way? Now, go. Run, 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 Quick save. You can quick save your game by pressing F5. If you want to quick load your last save, press F9. Note that saving is impossible on the game's highest complexity level. Save scum time, so F5, that's good. Settings. You can change settings in the settings tab in the games menu. Cool. Game settings. You can change game settings such as showing exact hit chance numbers in the game's main menu in the game settings tab. Okay. Right, let's move the old camera along. So, right mouse button for this dude. But when he turns around, where does his cone go? That's the question. Or does he turn around? Let's move up to here. Get just on there. Right, and we're off. Some more sneaky sneaker, son. Double click LMB to sprint. Oh, okay. Sprint noise. Your character makes noise when they're sprinting. Keep this in mind. Right, cool. No worries. No worries, Cobb. Um, so I need to know what he can see. Run, 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 run. Lovely stuff. Okay, here we go. So, what we got here? How do I make it round there? Does he is he gonna turn around? Don't the enemy is near. turn around. Can I duck? Tread lightly. That was good hiding. Right, I'm in a box. I'm in a cardboard box. Right, then when I get out, I need to get to there. He wouldn't be able to see me there. Uh -huh. Where can I get out? Oh, I. Oh, 
he's gonna come and shoot me, if I'm honest. Halt euch auf! Durchsucht das Dorf und den Wald! Findet und erschießt die Flüchtigen, es darf niemand entkommen! Zu Befehl! Soldaten, mitkommen! Affirmative! Okay, right. So... He ordered them to scour the area. Someone must have escaped. Where have I got to go next? And I work my way through any of these. That little way through there. Careful now. Let's see where this guy goes first. They can only, he only moves to there, so I'm alright for now. Ooh, I can go through this door. Didn't realise that. Container looting. Hover over the box and click on the interaction icon. To select an item, item, drag it with your cursor. Double click with left mouse button or click take all. A little bit of looting. Okay, so this is what's in the container. Ah, oh, lovely stuff. I'm going to do a bit of um, Resident Evil inventory management like it. Right, is it inventory I? It looks like it is. Yeah, there's my backpack. Got a knife. Can I drop that in? So yes, I can arm myself with L knifeo. Skill points. Oh this looks good. Tactical map. Make your way through the village. Oh, okay, this is good. I like this. Cyclopedia. Very nice, very nice. Right, okay, back to the matter in hand. Item equipment. Press I to open your inventory and equip your knife into the upper weapon slot. Drag and drop the item to the right slot or double click your LMB to equip. Ah, okay. Right, cool. That's fairly intuitive. Okay, right, so I want to. I don't really want to come out here, do I? Let's go to there. Stealth killing. Stealthy takedown allows you to quickly kill your target. However, your prey will resist for a short while, producing noise that could be heard by other enemies. Using environment. You can hide enemy corpses using environmental objects to keep them from being found. Okay, right, so do I sneak up behind him and Utsama. Then I need to pick him up and put him over here. No. Oh, I've got him, I've got him. Maybe I can put him in there. Yeah? Oh, right mouse button. Right, okay. And then now I've hidden him in, out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, right. So, where to next? Over here. Careful now. Stealth moving. Enemies can't see you while you're moving through bushes. Sneak into the next yard using bushes. Hiding corpses too. Enemies can't see a corpse in the bushes unless they walk into it. Use this to avoid being caught. Okay, I've kind of done that already, I think. Right, so is there anyone around here that I... Oh, I can go in there, look. Anything in there? Oh no, that's a hiding place. Right, okay. Uh, right mouse button to come out of hiding. 
It's the same, yeah. Into the toilet. Out of the toilet. At least I assume that's the toilet. Right, let's get to this bit anyway. Noise in bushes. Moving through bushes creates noise that can cause nearby enemies to become suspicious. If your plan was to remain undetected, wait for their suspicion level to decrease before carrying on. Where do I need to get to? Is there any way through there? No. Maybe I'll come over here and see how it plays out. It's going to raise the alarm. Oh, I see. This wasn't the plan. Meant to go through the bushes. Kill the oh, bollocks. Right, okay. I'm with you now. So I need to use the bushes. Obviously, it was telling me about the bushes for <laughs> for a reason. Right. We go again. I'm liking this so far, though. It's drawing me in. Um. Right, where are we again? Oh, has it put me over here? Oh, this is why I should have F5'd. Oh no, that's where I'll come from already, right? So, I need to go into here. We need to go into there. We've already done that one. Yep. Container looting. Get me knife. Get me steak. Get me bread. Uh, over here. Yep. Inventory. Get me niff. Put me niff in there. Okay. I'm out of here. Okay, it's stealth killing, using the environment. Wickly doakly. Right, so. Up behind him, stealth kill him. Pick him up. Put him in there. And walk away. Right, that's a better solution than putting him in the bushes. Cool, cool. Right, now we go over here. Careful now. Careful now, you said it. Stealth moving while you're sneaking, yada yada. And you just can't see a corpse in the bush, yada yada. Right, so we go over here. Noise in the bushes, yada yada. Right, shall I, shall I move? Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Right, so I think I'm okay again. Slowly, slowly, catching monkey. Slowly, slowly. Right, okay. Jumping over fences. Your characters can jump over low fences to take shortcuts. Cool. Up and over me, old son. You go, I go. Right. Um, I've got to make it to over there. Oh, I can get into this little hut over here. 
Should not spin the old camera. Anything worth looking at? Get down. Down, why? Skill tree. Your character gained a new level and a skill point. You can spend it in your skill tree. Press I and choose the skills tab. Learning skills. To learn higher level skills, you need to learn three skills from the previous tier. You can see the number of skills needed to the right of your skill tree. Three skills from the previous tier. Okay. Right, so we're going skills. I've got one point to spend. Knife throwing. Melee one. Okay, it's only allowing me to learn knife throwing. That's pretty handy. Partisans throws a knife and silently kills an enemy. Thrown knife can be picked up and used again. Cool. Happy days. Right, okay, so close him off. Spin this around. Oh, look, I missed that almost. Must use my camera. Smarter. I'm assuming they're eggs, and that was bread. Right, deal with this bloke group of enemies. Enemies travelling alone can be easily neutralised or distracted. It's much harder if you meet a group of enemies. Try not to let them see you. Okie dokie. Can I throw the knife? No, I need to pick him up. Pick him up, pick him up. Come on in. Ah. Look on the little hand. Right, okay. Pop him in the bushes. Pop him in the bushes. And put him down. Right, mouse button. Right, let's walk over here. Oh, stop. Right, you can see that far, so I'm okay. Can't see me. Ability distance. Some of your partisan's abilities can be used at distance. The ability icon shows the exact location where the ability will be used. Oh, okay. So I could use this ability. Calm down. Oh, bollocks. Calm down. Fire. Fire. Oh, I don't get that. Hopefully my last save was wasn't too far back. Twenty three minutes in, and I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I like a good tutorial, as anyone who's listened to the channel or watched the channel before knows. I do love a good tutorial. It just gets me involved, gets me thinking about how the game should be played, and isn't frustrating. So that's always a great start. Um, and I love a bit of stealth. Stealth is all good. Right, skill tree, yep, yep, we know that bit. But what I must get used to is save scumming. Gotta love a save scum. Right, let's do that now. So then I don't need to do these bits over again when I die next time. Okay, right. Uh, group of enemies. Yeah, we know that. Right, how do I use my skill? Oh, no, I need to upgrade to my skill. So, this one. Confirm. Then, when I've got my skill, how do I use it? Like that? I'm on it. One down. Oh, yes. Loving that. That's pretty cool. Got my knife back. 
pick him up, pop him over there. This game is right up my street. And pop that down. I'm actually currently in the middle of playing um, Metro 2033 Redux on Game Pass. I've only got until tomorrow to actually complete it. Um, so, Partisans 1941 looks like it might be my next game to be uh, playing through. Right, so ability distance. Some of your partisans' abilities can be used at distance. Right, I just used it at distance, so hopefully this time round I won't get dealt with by this dude. Come on. I need him to come back this way. Reach him. I'm on it. Wallop. How many more of you are there? Happy days, right? Get me knife. It's mine. Get him. Uh, could pop him all the way back there, I suppose. I oh, know. There's no one around here. I can pop him over there. I'm assuming there's no one around here. You know what they say, though. Assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. Uh, pop him in there. Right, so he's wandering around there. Does he do a circuit or. Um... Yeah, it looks as though he does a circuit. Maybe I can wait for him to come around. Because I'm hidden in these bushes, right? Let's see what happens when he comes around. Just choose me. Um... Ability. Tread lightly. Yeah, his cone doesn't penetrate the bushes, so that's good news. So I'm assuming that when he's walking, when he gets past me, I'm on it. Ah, oh, yes, down. get in there. Loving the throwing ability. Uh. I might pop him next to his mate over here. There she blows. Right, onwards and upwards. Shall I check the tactical map? See where I've got to be. So he was doing a circuit round that loop there. And I just need to make my way over here. So I need to go this way, don't I? Right, into the bushes. Anyone round here? No? No one round there. Save complete. Oh, here we go, here we go. What's going on here then? Right, two more soldiers. Oh shit. is tense. You unusual containers. You can find containers in unexpected forms and in unexpected places. For example, collect the contents of the nearest pile of stones. Is there? Get me stones. Pop them in me. Ah, oh, I see. Stone throwing is very simple and effective way to draw enemy attention. This is great. I'm loving this. I think that's enough for now to give you a nice little taster of what type of game this is. Feels very well made, feels really intuitive and easy to control, which sometimes these type of games they fall short in because it takes a while to get used to the controls. But everything seems very clear, very simple, especially with someone like me who doesn't often play these type of games. So, I'm loving it already. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you want to buy it, get down to Steam, get it on your wish list. Make sure you get a purchase on Partisans 1941. If you like the video, press the like button. If you want to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe. It helps us. And head over to www.com.
gamesfreezer.co.uk for plenty more of this stuff. Until next time, goodbye my friends.